Hi, in this video lecture, we will discuss about the C string tokenizer function strtok. strtok function breaks a string into a sequence of zero or more non-empty triplets. Now let's look at the declaration of strtok. strtok function basically takes two arguments. The first argument is pointed to a string which contains the whole data and the second argument is again a pointed to a string which is a delimiter. Now, on the first call to strtok, the string to be passed should be passed specified in the str and in subsequent calls that should be passed the same string, str must be none. We'll try to understand this more uh, by doing the practicals. The delim argument specifies a set of bytes that delimit the tokens in the pass string. The column may specify different strings in delimited successive calls that pass the same string, right? So let's try to understand this through a program. Here, I have a string called as name and in that I, did, I have a data called as programming with Sikanda. Now it has three words programming with Sikanda. I'd like to break them into different different words. The first word is programming, second with, then Sikanda. So if I want to do that, I can basically use strtok. The first call for the strtok, the first argument should be the string which you want to uh, parse. Second argument should be the delimiter. Here, the sequence uh, which separates one token to another token, which is the space out here. And yes, that should be in the form of a string, not a character. So what it does is, it starts looking out for a delimiter in the given string from the specified, like starting from the string. And once it encounters this, it's going to return me this particular portion. And when I say it returns me this particular portion, it returns a pointer. As can be seen out here, it returns a pointer. So we will try to capture this return value into a pointer. I'll try to declare a pointer variable and I'll try to correct the return value. And then I'd like to have a look at what exactly is the PTR value. You can print the address or you can also try to print the string. So I'll just try to print the string out here. And let's try to visualize this. The first statement out here will initialize the string as programming with Sikanda. So this is the data what we basically have programming with Sikanda. It's an array of 26 characters. And then strtok what it does is it returns me a pointer to the first word. But important thing to understand out here is remember after programming we had a space. Space had an ASCII value of 32. Right. But here what it did it, it replaced the space the delimiter with a null character. Now, if I try to print the string, it starts printing from this particular point till it encounters the null character. It only prints programming. So you can just observe it is only printing programming. Now, we got the first word. Now, let us say we want to get the second word. In the second call, what we should do is we have to use strtok. If I pass this name again and the delimiter, then the return value will be the same. It will be a pointer to the first character in programming. But if you want to say that, it has to continue from the point where it has stopped in the previous call. So in that case, we need to pass this first argument as null. Okay. You can just also go back and have a look out here. On the first call to the str to okay, the string to be passed should be specified in the str. In each subsequent call that should pass the same string, str must be null. Okay. So I'm just passing null out here. And I'm just keeping the delimiter as space itself. And returns a pointer. I'm trying to capture this into a pointer. And then I'd like to again print this. I'd like to also visualize this now. Let's repeat this. And uh, in the array, since I have not specified the size, it's going to determine the size of the array based on the number of characters. And there are 25 characters plus one null character. Totally, it's going to be an array of 26. Fine. And you can also observe here that between programming and width, there is a space. And between this width and Sikanda, there's also a space. And there is only one null character at the end of the string out here. Okay. Now, the first call for the strtok, as I said, it looks out for a delimiter. Once it finds a delimiter, it's going to replace the delimiter with a null and returns the pointer to the first word. So we can just try to print this. And we have seen this, it prints programming. And you can also see this space was replaced with 
null character. In the second one, if you pass null, it will continue from the point where it is stopped in the previous call, where the first token had ended with a first space. So now it's going to continue from this point and then looks out for next space, this one. And then what it does is it basically breaks this from here to here. It's going to basically break this by putting a null character here and returns an address for this particular one. So you can just observe this has set this pointer to W and you can also observe the space is replaced with null character. Now, if I try to print this string, it's going to print with. Now, there might be multiple words, like sometimes there might be three words, sometimes there might be 10 words. If you want to get each word, okay, separately, then instead of hard coding this repeatedly, we can basically use a loop. Now, the question is, why should we stop? Okay, when uh, there is no further delimiter, what it does is it basically returns me a null. So we can repeat this particular portion, this portion, okay, till the pointer is not returning null. So what can I do? I can just try to, and you can also see this statement and this statement is same. So I just try to write why pointer is not equal to null. I'd like to write this code of printing. And after that, again, I'd like to repeat this and then keep going on. Right. Let's try to repeat this particular one. There is no need for me to update any okay, PTR. It will automatically okay, collect return value of the next word. And here I have three words. So the first one, okay, since here it is name, here it is null. So it has to be kept outside the loop. You can just observe. It basically returns me programming. Then after that, it returns me with. And then the next one, it basically returns me second. Then again, second. After that, since all the three words are over, so applying strt okay basically returns null. And when it is null, we come out of the loop. So we can always try this out with more words. I'm just going to use a space in the same one, right? And now instead of going step by step, I'd like to just uh, execute all the statements at once. So if you want to execute everything at one shot, you can just click on this last. So this is going to execute everything at one shot here, fine. So once you break the strings into uh, different, different tokens, you can apply any operation on individual tokens. Like you want to find out the length of each of the words, you want to call the number of words, all such kind of things can be done out here, right? Now, let me just try to okay, uh, uh, modify this program where uh, I would like to uh, not just print the uh, string, I'd like to also apply the length of this. So to apply the length of this, I'm just using percentage D or you can say uh, LD because string length basically returns me size underscore T. Uh, so I'll just try to write str len of PTR. So I'm just going to print each word and the number of characters. I just remove the space here. I'm just trying to execute this. You can just see the first word has 11, second word has four characters, third word has eight characters. Fine. Okay, I hope the concept is clear. In the next video lecture, we will see how do we parse a CSV file using strt. Thank you.